Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be installing the camera lens protector for the 16 Pro. This is also compatible with the 16 Pro Max, as it says here. So they have the same size with the camera you know, layout, the, the, the three cameras right here. They have the same dimensions, I'm pretty sure that's why it's compatible with the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max. So here we go. So we open up here. And then there's some instructions here as well, hidden. Yeah, and then let's see here. And this pops up. Then we get this package in here. One, two cleaning set. It's also stuck on here. This bag. This bag right here. With the camera lens protector in there. Yeah, camera lens. So we'll just see what, what it says on here. It says clean your lenses. Clean your lenses using the microfiber cleaning cloth. Anyway, so I've got this one, like a fiber cleaning cloth. I'm guessing using the dust, it does not say on here to use the dust removal sticker just says align and apply pressure place the plants of glass camera lens protector on top of the camera push the camera lens protector onto the camera to attach it it doesn't say to use a the um, sticker but I'll, I'll use it anyway after I've, you know given this a wipe down I'm gonna use the sticker This one here. Dust removal sticker. Yeah. That's what I did with last year's one. But it doesn't say on the instructions on there, it just says to Oh, there's some annoying, irritating dust sticking in there. I may need to use the screen protectors um cloth. This is not really helping. Yeah, I may need to use that instead because I see a bit of dust. You know, although it doesn't say it's, it provides a um that what was it the alcohol wipe doesn't say though yeah wet wipe it's called i'll probably use the just the, the wet wipe wet wipe that i got from the screen protector just grab it out why not you know shake it out yeah, it's not too it's not too dirty it's still wet as well I'll just give it a clean I don't get why there's a lot of dust here. Okay, I'll just leave it as it as that.
I'll work with it to dry a little bit. Work with it to dry a little bit and then put this rubbish away. And then I'll just grab this mic microfiber cleaning cloth again and then I'll just go like that. Clean here. Because there's like some dust on, on the sides here. It's still not so good. I'll, I'll try the best that I can to get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. I think. Oh, there's still one there. Sorry, you guys can't see because I'm just trying to focus and clean this lens. You know, these, these lens up, you know. That's why I wear gloves, you know, some people in my vid, uh, in my previous video was like, why are you wearing gloves? This is the reason, you know, I don't want fingerprints on, on this sort of thing when I'm installing this, you know. I don't want fingerprints on there. Because once, once you're stuck on it, it's just stuck on. You can remove it, but you, you'll have to buy another... You'll have to buy another ca uh, camera lens protector or screen protector. Okay. Yeah. I think that's about it. That's the best that I can do. That's the best that I can do. You guys probably can't see the, the, the glare. Yeah, the glare, yeah. yeah. All right, I think that's, oh, I, I see dust now. I, you don't want to like see dust on the lens otherwise it'll just cover when you're taking video or photo you'll just see those that particles of dust hanging around it's it which is not good you know i think that's the best that i can do yep i think that's the best i can do so i've done that now done that now and I'll just go ahead and open this up. Small bag. What it looks like? Oh, this one's good. It's fully covered, you know. Unlike those um other what previous ones I had in the, in the past, where sometimes. This hole right here, I don't know what that hole is for. Oh, that hole is for the flash. So sometimes that won't be covered. Or maybe this one at the bottom, the circle, is. It, I think that's the LIDAR, L-I-D-A-R feature, I think. If, if I've got it wrong, just let me know in the comments. But just one of these two I remember in the past, they cut a hole on there. So like dust can still get into the screen, uh, sorry, to the, uh, to the lens protector. But it's good that they've covered those two. They only didn't cover the small one right here. Yeah, this small hole. I actually don't know what that small hole is for. There's a small hole right here, but I've actually, actually forgotten what that feature is for, the small hole right here. But only that one is um open. So only that one, there's a possibility that dust may get into that hole. But it's definitely an improvement in the past previous years where it's either this hole or this hole right here it was um not covered so all the dust gradually over time just snuck in there you know and then you might get poor quality uh video uh, video or photography work you know you, you may do which will affect the you know quality of the photo or video this which is not what you want you know but so here We'll just try and put this on right now. I'll just have, have a quick look at this box. So it says, place the camera lens protector on top of the camera, yeah, which is... I think this one's pretty simple. It's a little bit more straightforward than the, the screen protector because it's just small. And then after I've done that, I'll just put, apply some pressure onto it. 
So I just have to see which one. I have to make sure it aligns properly. Have to make sure. Grab the phone and then make sure it aligns, you know. Line right there. Peel this off. There we go. This is what it looks like, you know, just like that, and then put it on here. So I can't show, but I need to be, you know, quite. I can show the end result though. Try and put it on there. Oh, this, uh, I need to be cautious with this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, yeah, it's got in, it's slot in, that's good, that's what I want. Yeah, slot in there. So it's slot in now. So you just it says apply a bit of pressure, you know, just to get those bubbles out. Very similar to the screen protector, but this one's a bit straightforward. You know, it's already got those molded um the free holes are perfectly molded on, so and then you just do that. Try to get the much bubble air out as you can. But I, I see a, a little dust in there, which is no, no good. But I, I think nothing is perfect, you know. <laughs> yeah, I did my best, you know. I really did. So you're just, you're just trying to do that, you know, just try to, as it says on the instructions, apply some pressure. Just try to get those bubbles out, you know. Try to get them out. I think that's pretty much it, you know. It's definitely more simpler than the screen protector of, because of its size, you know. In the past, people didn't really care about this, but this is now more and more common, especially for the pro models. Back then, I haven't even heard of, didn't even think of a screen, oh, sorry, didn't think of a camera lens protector, you know. It was just mainly the screen protector on the front here and then just put on a case. But now this, you know, people are more um, starting to, you know, be, like worry about, you know, they might worry about their camera lens being scratched, you know, and stuff like that. So. This is like a good, you know, just, just the added protection, you know, to, to the phone, which is already, you know, can be quite expensive, you know, as you, you guys already know, iPhones, especially the pro models, you know. So it's just, I guess, to protect your investment, just add, adding on these sort of features on there. Uh, I'll just have a look. Yep, I think that's pretty much done. That's pretty much done right there. Pretty much done. All I need now is a case, you know. I haven't I haven't gotten the case yet. I'm still waiting for mine to arrive actually, you know, the case. I got a case from I think Phone Rebel. I think that's what it's called, the website. The guy does YouTube, he's called uh, what was it? Everything Apple Pro. Yeah, so that that YouTube channel, so I, I got it from there. But it's taking a taking some time to to arrive, you know, for that. But if if I can't, you know, I'll just see. If it takes too long, then probably I'll probably need to get another temporary case in the meantime to use it. Because can't kind of feels not too safe when you're holding it at the moment just to use it. You don't feel that grip, you know, where a case has that grip. Yeah, but we'll just wait, wait for that, you know, and see when it will arrive. Or maybe I'll, I might get another case. We'll see. All right, thank you for you know watching this video. It might be a little bit long for some of you, but I think I did my best on it, just for this camera lens protector. Thank you for watching, and then maybe I'll see you, you know, if I show my new case if it arrives. If not, then I'll probably see you 
maybe next year, you know, hopefully I'll hopefully I can afford and you know not the next new phone, this the iPhone seventeen Pro, you know. Alright, thank you for watching and then bye for now.